Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to service the Aqualung Spiro. This is my Aqualung Spiro, it's called Supra, I don't know if that's uh, a model name or what. I use it as a safe second for my Arctic Spiro, which is basically the same thing. It looks like this. Uh, but we're doing the service of the safe second. So what you're gonna need is a dentist tool. I prefer to use this to remove the O-rings, but you actually don't need it uh, at all. Uh, you're gonna need a wrench, some kind of small uh, socket uh, that uh, you're gonna be able to remove a bolt, a toothbrush, uh, a plier, a rag, lithium spray, no silicone spray, sorry. Uh, you're gonna need a ultrasonic cleaner and you're gonna need a spare set of o-rings. Always order new o-rings when do is doing services. So let's get started. First things first, we need to open the cover. Uh, while doing this, this might be stuck pretty hard, in this case it wasn't. So you can use a pair of pliers to stick in and twist, but please do not stick the pliers or the tools that you end up using too far. Uh, if you stick them too far, you might end up uh, damaging the membrane and you don't want that because then your regulator won't work. So remove the cover. Like this. Then we have a membrane and a protective ring around the membrane. So we remove the protective ring like that and then you carefully carefully pull away the membrane. This is the inside of uh, the regulator. As you can see it's not very complex. It's a lever that pushes a pressure seat, basically. Uh, down here you have the, uh, the rubber which allow you to breathe out. So once you breathe out, this compartment in here will fill with air and once the air is compressed enough in the compartment, it will go out this way. And then it also, of course, comes out on the side of the mouthpiece. But what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna remove this screw. So we take a standard wrench. Carefully, you don't want to totally... Sorry, there we go. Like that. Then you remove this. Here we find the only o-ring that's inside uh, um, in, the, in this regulator. Uh, so we will remove the o-ring with the dentist tool. Um, always get a new o-ring, so uh, we'll discard with that one. And then you take this, put it aside. Here you can find the pressure seat. Uh, it works like this, that once the lever gets pulled, you... Okay, I pressed down very hard on the lever, so yeah. Uh, this one will go in uh, a bit and will let air through. So what you're gonna do is you will press that one and then the lever will come off. So you can see here if I press the pressure seat. Now we're gonna remove the little bolt right here. This is the hard part to get on the camera, so we'll do like this. Zoom it off. Okay. 
There we go. On the same screw you also have a little washer, like this. Remove it. And then you can remove the high pressure seat. And... Or the pressure seat, not the high pressure seat. And also the spring. Now the compartment here is empty, so there's no more active parts. What you want to do maybe is that you might want to change the mouthpiece. This is very rigid, so it's stiff for your mouth. So if you end up using it, you will probably get a cramp. So just go ahead and take uh, the pliers and carefully cut off the uh, stripe. And then you can kind of <laughs> remove Okay, there we go. You can also remove this part right here. Uh, you see, it's not, um, it's only pressed uh, to the, uh, the body of the regulator. There's no dirt inside here uh, that I can see, and I know it's a uh, pain in the ass to get back so I won't remove it at all and that's the complete regulator so what you want to do right now is get some soapy water and then you want to use a toothbrush and just clean 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 uh, pat it off and then down into the ultrasonic washer and okay so it's finished um, what we're gonna do next is just uh, bring up the parts and uh, we will uh, uh, rinse them off with some uh, uh, water, a bit of warm water actually, and then we will uh, pat them dry and uh, the parts are ready to go uh, to uh, go back to the regulator. There we go, everything is clean and now we need to put it back together. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna apply some uh, silicone spray to everything. So we'll just go ahead and get some silicone spray on that. Then you take the parts. And wipe it off so you don't have excess silicone spray. Same with the spring. Da 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 da. Pressure seat, silicon, lever, silicon, a little bolt, silicon, and also the little spacer. That's the part that needs silicon, and now we're gonna put them back. Time for reassemble. So you take the spring into the hole, the pressure seat. And you push it down like this, so you get the little uh, screw here. You put on the spacer like that, and then you put on the little little nut like that. It doesn't want to go any further, so we'll use this tool here. Like that, and then you put on the little let's see here. Oh, sorry, now we need to put on the lever, and I'm starting to get a cramp in my hand. Let's see if I can use my right hand instead. Here we go, like that. go good enough uh, we'll see if we need to arrange the screw a little bit after uh, we have put on the membrane I think we'll be okay yeah I think so okay 
Then we take the plastic ring and put it above the membrane. Then we get the little new O-ring, new order. Put it back on the screw here, like that. On with the screw on the side, like this. Take the little wrench, pull it a bit, and then back on with the lid. And here we go. Looks good. Uh, now we need to put on the mouthpiece and we'll put it on like this. There you go. And we need to get a stripe also. Here we go. Have it over here. So make sure it's in place. Put it around here. The stripe into the groove. And like this. One regulator, safe second, Spiro Aqualung serviced. So now we need to try it with the scuba tank. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so the regulator is connected to the tank. You can purchase and you can also breathe from it. So that's good. So there you go. Service of the Aqualung Spiro safe second. Uh, not that hard, really simple regulator, uh, simple design, never breaks down basically, just keeps working and working and working. Uh, I will show you later on in an upcoming video how to service the Spiro Arctic. Uh, it's a bit more complex but it's basically the same thing. As you can see, it's the same protecting ring around the, around the membrane. It's the same membrane, and you basically have the same uh, construction inside. Um, yeah, this is also a very very nice uh, regulator, actually. Uh, you might notice that uh, this wasn't that dirty inside, and. The amount that I have used it, it should be even dirtier. But I actually did service this already, but unfortunately I lost all the video footage. So I actually serviced it again, just to show you. So uh, this is now double serviced. Um, and that's also the reason there was absolutely no dirt inside the... Uh, inside the regulator. As you can see maybe here on the sides you have some particles uh, inside the regulator house which is uh, more normal than uh, something like this. Uh, more than often you will find like grease and dirt and yeah sand and stuff inside the regulator. So uh, that was an extreme example of uh, when it looks really, really, really nice. So uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next week. Toodles.